Welcome everyone who is in chat. Welcome to all my players and welcome to our very, very good friend of a cameraman, Battery Batty. But you can't hear him right now. Batty got rid of his audio. Can you not hear Batty on stream? And if not, good. All right, perfect. Good. Nobody listened to Batty. He's stinky. All right, so I would like to. God, I don't. I really don't know what to do right now because there's a lot of people. I, it's like it's not even that I'm at a loss for words. There's just a lot of people I want to thank for making this like even possible to do it. Like first and foremost, but I we're gonna get shoutouts out of this like you know taken care of early because first off, thank you to Louise. You always provide us music for D&D games. You've created a track I'm very happy to be using for this one. And I'm very happy to have you here as a player, my friend. Hey, no problem. Other music. Uh, I have to fucking... I have to fucking give a big thanks to one Lorian Ross. Dude made... Pretty much... When you hear the songs that he made, understand I didn't take any music from the actual game. Lorian just did it because he's he just good like that. He just good. He, like, there's no way to get around it. Icon art done by the lovely, if sometimes gassy, jet, black jet canine. <laughs> Listen, just because I burped again just then doesn't mean you can call me that. I can call you what I please because you're a delightful human being. <laughs> and then I can't forget the last player to be joining us today, one Ninja Dan's Funhouse. You gotta say it. You gotta say it the way he does it. Fine. Ninja Dan's Funhouse, Ninja underscore Dan underscore FH on Twitter. Why is that necessary? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I want to just get all the silliness out. Is it like, do you guys have anything you want to say before we start? Anything? Uh, like, how how you guys feeling about this? Like, what do you, what do you guys feel? Fingers crossed we don't die. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be like an actual like. This is actually one where I, I'm nervous that I could die early on. Thank God this is not critical difficulty. I offered them critical difficulty. They, they chickened out. What did you expect? I chose easy difficulty, but you wouldn't let me. Jack wants okay, to play well, You saw the state of the character I rolled. You were like, you are dead. <laughs> yeah, you know what? As one Louise Vasquez told me before, get good. <laughs> and there's no such thing as get good and roll 20 they don't go together <laughs> but i want you i know i like you know address who you guys are but please just take a second introduce yourselves if you have anything that you want to you know let people know where to find you where to get your commissions done just please take a second and tell everybody before we start you want to go in order of roll 20 because we start with jack oh okay then hi Blackjack K9. I do art. My commissions are currently open if you'd like to check those out. Jack uh, does very good work. He's actually, he did the Sleepwalkers logo that's at the bottom of the overlay. Yeah, I did do that. Yo, everybody, Jack's commissions are so good, he has them done before you've even commissioned him. Like yeah, that. like that, like that camera Monday. It was like done like, man, yeah. like he literally minutes. threw that like five minutes before we got on here. Oof. But yeah, that, that's <coughs> me. Dan, anything special about you? Well, I mean, besides the obvious with you being cool as shit. Man, that, anyone who's uh, familiar with Final Phantasma, like us as a channel as a whole. To be from a uh, channel manager and one of the main editors, I'm in most of the D and D games. Uh, I'm always excited to be a player in any of these games, mostly because, uh, like, I, I'm always excited because everyone just likes to have me re being recurring as different characters, and that that makes me happy. But well, hap it's you're always a pleasure. You bring good energy to these games, and I like having you. Kingdom Hearts, like you, I I played it since it came out, man. Like those PS2 adjusted. games, those PS2 games were a lot of fun. Listen, we're about to do this some justice. I hope I, I, you know, I've never been more nervous to DM anything, mainly because it's it's Kingdom Hearts. Or I have a very there's a very high bar I've set for myself right now, and I'm gonna hope I live up to it. And speaking of people who live up to high bars, 
Luis. So, uh, hey everyone, my name is Luis Vasquez. Uh, I mainly make music, uh, guitar player, singer, music producer. Uh, a lot of my music is all around all of our series. Uh, I mainly do background music, covers, intro music for a lot of a bunch of VTubers and streamers and other other artists. So, yeah, it's uh, this is a new experience for me. Not D and D, more like Kingdom Hearts. I've been getting into it after uh, we started. Like, well, well, from before we started organizing this, I've been always curious about it, but I have. I'm the only one that has only played, I guess, one game, and that was a DS game? No. A no last game, not even the one of the main ones. So uh been learning yeah. about this a lot. So about our upcoming things, uh mainly trying to get back into my own streams that I'm just making music on them. Uh but I just released the first single for my uh, upcoming original uh, album uh, that's probably come gonna end up coming out completely by the by not the end of the year like mid year or something like that we'll see I hope to have it even earlier but uh, just stay tuned and more things will to come <laughs> so you, at least you can follow me on Twitter at Luis Vask with a Q music and you'll see what what I'm up to right on my dude right on and. You all know me, cable provider. Uh, I probably hold the record for most ongoing campaigns on this channel right now. But <laughs> hopefully, this isn't one I'm going to add to the list. Let's. This one's getting done this month. If you're looking for our schedule, we'll be doing this Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays all through the rest of this month. With the final session being on the 28th for the anniversary of Kingdom Hearts One. This means a lot to me. I'm excited to do this, and I'm going to stop stalling because you know what? I'm ready to do this and. For all who do know Kingdom Hearts, if you enjoy this and you like what we do and want to subscribe, may your heart be your guiding key. I think we should start with this track. Music by Lorian Ross. Go follow him. Go commission him. <laughs> Many tales are told throughout history. Small stories that through time they get lost. Points left like grains of sand on a beach, scattered amongst millions. This will be the tale of a small group. Through unlikely means, will they survive? Will they fall? That is for them to decide and for you all to view. As we enter into this world of both reality and fiction, let us see who is with us. Uh, let's see. Everybody roll me initiative. I want to know who we start with. Oh, here we go. All right. Well, I think it's very obvious who we start. <laughs> Somber, please place yourself right where I'm pinging, in the middle of the dark nothingness. Okay. Well, rising to his feet in a void surrounding him unsure of where he is we see a we see a lone figure wearing blue garments uh very much akin to that of a uh, a scholar type maybe that of a mage even adorned with symbols of various elements 
and a shock of green hair at the front of his head, but only at the front. The rest of his head is shaved. Where am I? I... I was in the middle. Was that a dream? You hear a voice begin to speak to you almost from nothing. What do you desire? Desire? I have never really asked for much. I currently desire to know where I am. All right. Roll a perception check, Slumber. All righty. 26. You see, it almost feels like as you walk, it's like there's ripples as if you're walking on water, but you just see inky black as far as the eye can see. Yet you can still see yourself clearly as though you're illuminated. You don't really get what this feeling is. The last thing you remember was the sounds and the echoes of war, keyblades clashing against each other, people from different unions striking each other down and working towards the common goal. The last thought that appears in your head, you remember you were a part of that, but yet you find yourself here now. Everyone was fighting clash of blades. Have I fallen to this? Right here, I want uh, Foss to put himself. How do you pronounce it, Luis? Not Foss the, the, yeah, Foss. Foss? Or Foss. B Giga Giga Foss. Giga Foss. <laughs> Foss Dante. <laughs> Make a perception check, Foss. Same as I had narrated with Somber. You see yourself as well, just in an inky nothingness. Through this, you start trying to uh, piece together where you are and what might be going on. You do... You also have memories, like, clashing in war. The last part of it you remember was you actually... Not... It almost felt as though you had seen individuals from your union, the one of us said like fighting with their very lives on the line, clashing against wielders using both darkness and light. And in your desperation to save them, you fought to the very like end of what you could do before collapsing from exhaustion. And this is where you find yourself waking up. Uh, Foss just stands up and is just very meticulously and very angrily looking around. He's not happy that this is all darkness right now. And then, uh, Foss is not, it's like, um, uh, not like, <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, God. What, what a moment to start coughing. Yep. He's. Like, more on the defensive state, like, wait, expecting something to happen. Very tense right now. You hear a voice speak to you as well. What are you afraid of? Are you the darkness? Right here, Warren. We're going to get Giga Warren, probably. <laughs> Giga Warren! Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> you a trollop. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> you hear that from the void? No. <laughs> Warren, you also find yourself uh, waking up in this situation. Same as I've described with the others. You were also a part of you were also like participating in the war. 
for you it's a little different with your with your union leader being Ava. The last bit of it you remember was seeing her like looking in a panic state before the war started. You didn't get to speak to her, but you did overhear that she had tried desperately to stop it before the war broke out, but there was nothing she could do. Now you find yourself in the same inky blackness as Fos and Somber. Oh, I guess the worst did happen then. Shane. You hear a voice speak to you. What will you do now? Fight for the light again. All three of you. You all... You all feel almost as if like a, a tugging or a pull. As... Each of your keyblades materializes into your hand. Mm. They all seem to be sort of like converging, and as you see a small like point of light release from each of them, it can it centers right here in the middle of like of the th where you three would be, and you all do become aware of each other's presence as you in unison hear a voice say. If you wish to fade, if you wish to go, you need only go back to sleep. But if you wish to learn what has befall and what has happened, advance forward. The moment uh, the voice stops talking, Foss just starts walking towards Wish not a fate to avoid. Mm. I'm just pinging so you guys know where to go. I'm looking towards these guys. As you guys approach each other, tell uh, give us a quick rundown of what you all look like. We'll uh, we'll go in the initiative order. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with Slumber. Well, which you actually already described yourself. Yeah. So, and, oh. and if anyone if anyone thinks I might sound a little muffle, it's because, like my character Somber, I am currently wearing a mask on my face for authenticity. Let's see how long you can keep that one up for. I'm two sessions in. I put the cup down when doing martini. <laughs> <laughs> well, Foss, give us a description of what you look like. Uh, Foss is a. Uh... Medium sized guy, uh like six three, something like that. Well, that's not medium sized necessarily. Uh, <laughs> no, not six three, sorry, five three. Uh no wait, five three? No, five three no, six, 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 six. <laughs> God, I don't even know this thing. Uh slightly <laughs> older, he's uh, looking around 30 years old. He has gray, long spiked hair. And He's like he has. You see that he has like a a, a shirt on, underneath and like a a chain around his neck and a, a small thing in his uh a small beat like thing in, in his uh wrist. He looks angry as living hell. And he's like cautiously looking at you two guys. Warren? Oh boy. Warren, this lad is a <coughs> very average size for his age, roughly in 20, just by looks alone. Some. He's wearing the most garish looking outfit. There are dark colors that clash with bright colors, like lime yellows and greens, along with dark purples and blues and reds. He looks like a mess, but <coughs> it's a very controlled mess. Everything looks like it at least has its place on him. Some, uh... <coughs> Who's 
say strawberry blonde hair. I would call it that. Yeah, <laughs> quite. He has a very like long, long spiky hair that kind of droops down, and he has part of it tied back into a ponytail with a very, a very once again bright looking hairband, but it doesn't seem to fit the rest of his outfit. Has a, the most world's deadpan looking face on him. As you guys begin to approach, you start to make each other out a little bit more. And I will say, anybody who wants to can roll a history check. Oh, give it a shot. That goes. Oh, boy. Six. Oh, 18. All right. So, Faust, uh, so Faust and Warren, you guys are fine. Uh, Somber, you don't pick up on this. You're still trying to figure out where you are a little bit. But for the other two, uh, you start to, you're a little hesitant as approaching as you start to make out the individuals you see more and more. But you do recognize the, uh, the keyblade that everybody is wielding, which is the Starlight, which is the uni- sort of the unofficial like key that you would see most people belonging to a union wielding. So you guys can determine that you guys, that while you may not know who each other are, you do recognize that you're probably from a union. I am pleased to see I'm not the only individual here, though I am saddened to say that it seems that we are stuck in a void. It is unfortunate, seeing as the last thing I remember was... Well, I'm pretty sure you both know. And that's part of what worries me against you two. I bear no hostility, friend. The circumstances that we were into are unfortunate. I will assure you, even in the middle of battle, I have tried my best to remain neutral. Neutrality was not an option, sadly. Too many conflicting ideas. Even though we should have only one, fighting for the light and destroying darkness. You've yet to see and caught up in it. It was not the difference between light and darkness, it was in fighting. Still say, I still say it's. <sighs> Both of we not aligning in the same thing that we should have been doing. But I guess it doesn't matter anymore, we're stuck here. Well, perhaps we can ascertain a way out. Warren? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do this for the 21 that you got on the history as well. As you're attempting to find or like, figure out or at least discern what it is you're trying to do, uh, you realize that all three of your keys led you to this spot, and you do remember the way that you all were able to travel through worlds before. You're not sure if it'll work now, but you do know if you were to hold your key, like if you were to hold your key outwards, like towards a point, you could potentially create something to move through. Well, compatriots, I think there's only one other thing we can try. And I will hold out my key blade to the point. Interesting. Very well. No harm in trying. Give me a group arcana check. Oh lord. Oh, I'm glad I chose that as a proficiency. <laughs> yeah! Okay! Oh, damn, All right. I that and I still got a 10. Your keys begin to light as you see almost as if and it's it's hard to it's hard to describe, but it's like it's like the eeriness of this place is fading away 
as a portal doesn't open for you to travel through, but it seems the light from your key is almost erasing the darkness around you. And as it begins to slowly spread out from underneath your feet and encompassing this entire void, um, <coughs> here's the fun fact. I need everybody to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, Lord. Oh. Eep. <coughs> Uh, thank God I'm good at that. <coughs> oh, that's that funny. Great. Oh, God. Warren, you slip. Uh, <laughs> Foss and Somber, you guys are fine. As as the darkness fades, it's almost as if you see the darkness above you, and then you can't make out what's below. You just hear a rushing wind as it starts to pick up faster and faster and faster. Uh, and then almost as if you're ripping through something, you just hear like a whoosh as you break through a cloud line. And you see yourself barreling towards like um, an amount of like floating platforms. You're going at very high speed. What do you guys want to do? Uh, You're you're falling very fast. In a quick flourish, uh, Somber is going to uh, basically try to make a do a variation of arrow below, like below them, winds to break the fall. All right. Wait, don't we have something to fly or something? Nope, not yet. <laughs> um, we don't later, love. We beat Neverland. I'm trying to find some good music. Give me a second. Um, um, as you guys, so as you cast winds, as you're falling faster and faster down and straight towards the ground, the winds do cushion, and you guys find yourself. Wait, what? Right here. Luis, Jack? Yeah. Uh, hey, you want to oh, put yourself in yeah. okay, well, <laughs> yeah, the map? I was trying to zoom out at the time. Big Matt. Why is everybody except like Dan like super big? I'll fix it tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> is everyone okay? Mm, apparently. <clears throat> I found my key blade. Oh. <laughs> you fell on your keys. <laughs> Dude, this takes psychic damage. Jeez. Now, I wonder what this place is. It's, it's beautiful. Fascinating. You hear a little voice. It's not the same one you heard before. You're like, oh, hello, new people. Uh, oh, look around. What's what's speaking to us? Roll a perception check. <laughs> oh shit, a talking beaver! Yeah, it's on Barry. That's 20. Somber, you 100% see it. It is. It appears to be, at, what, at first glance, what looks like just a small little ball of light, but it only appears that way in movement. When it's stationary, it appears to be almost a silhouette of like a, a humanoid figure. No face, no details, just like think like a mannequin, but like see through. Oh, like new people. Spirit. Hmm, I don't think so. Are you? Unsure at the moment. Do you live here? Hmm. I am here. I don't know if we'd live here. It just sort of, like, starts walking around looking at you. Could you perhaps yeah. enlighten us as to where we are? It starts, like, lifting your arms, Somber. <laughs> He'll huh. comply. Wow. <laughs> you guys are weird. We haven't seen one of you in a while. In a while? Mm. What do you mean in a while? Since the other one came. 
cause that one? Have there been other members of unions who've come this way? It does the thing where it's like knocking its head against, like its hand against its head, like, Union. I don't know what a union is, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, Sombra will hold up the keyblade. One who would possess something like this. Oh, those. Yeah, she's a, she should be around here. She said today was important. Oh, well, might we find this person? Sorry. Well? And you see it just sort of like walking around. And as you look out over across the bridge, you do see there are more figures like it just moving around. You, They look like they're pantomiming and not doing anything, but it really does seem like they're going about day-to-day -day lives just in, with things that you can't see. Well? Really? This is the place? You always can find what you're looking for here, as long as you know what you're looking for. Interesting. I'll give you a... Actually, you know what? You nat 20 that perception, so I can give you a little bit of something else, too. So, this figure, it does... You do notice, as you see the others, in comparison, this one seems to be a little bit shorter than the rest of them. And it seems to be a bit more energetic than the others. How old are you? That's a good question. I've been here forever. Forever is a long time. Well, we all st we've all been here forever. You have a name? I did. Dead. It must have been forever ago. Just finger guns towards you. Hey. Most of us don't have or use those. We kind of just know who we are and we know who each other is. Well, some of them. I don't recognize some of these people. And you see just like differentiating between the different silhouettes that are standing around. Like, I know them. I don't know them. That, no. Okay. Hmm. That is strange. Well, anyway. If you're looking for the one with the weird thingy like that, uh, search around for a little bit. She should be here. I wasn't too long ago I saw her. Sombra's gonna take a moment to pull out a uh, like a scrawl of paper from a pocket, and just to take a quick re uh, just take a quick note like beings of light, personalities of their own, do not know who they are individually but as a collect opposite of heartless question <laughs> you see this little light figure wave goodbye to you is like they start trotting along going across i thank you for your assistance just wave to you again well, hopefully we see each other again Well, I guess our only thing to do is just walk around, I guess. Take Find a direction. Oh, sorry, I'm moving Jack like he's me. I forgot I was DMing. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, my legs, they're moving without me thinking of moving. So, for scale, I couldn't make this into the full size I wanted it to be, so um, a lot of this will be theater of the mind for you guys. Yeah. No. But roll perception checks to look around and just see what's going on around here. One union member seems to have autonomous movement, unaware of his. <laughs> Oof. 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 False has tinnitus. Ow. Okay. Uh, where's my D100? I gotta check something. Oh lord. Oh no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not gonna D100. kill you yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay. So, Somber and Warren, you guys begin looking around. Fos, as you start going through, you are, you're trying your best to avoid a lot of these, like, uh, things. They seem to not be paying attention to you. 
Uh, one of them acts actively like knocks their shoulder into you and then just like turns their head back. Hey, why don't you watch where you're going? Georgia will not pay attention. I don't think I've seen you around here before. No, we just got here. It starts getting closer towards you. It's a very tall silhouette. Like, it's it's a little tall. Like, I guess in comparison to Fosto being 5'3", it's not, like, the tallest thing in the world. But it, it like, looks down at you. What? And just, it, like, pokes you on the forehead a little bit. Mm. Yeah, you... Uh, I doubt you're strong. It just walks off. Oh my. <laughs> Come on, Mutley. <clears throat> Let's see who Somber sees. Ooh, this is a this is a fun one. You walk past a little bit of a you walk past a small area. You see someone just like it appears that they're like sewing, but you don't see anything in their hands. They're just sitting around. And they sort of turn their head up to you. Oh, hello. C can I help you with something? Um, apologies. I'm getting used to this area. You see, we just arrived. Oh, new arrivals. Well, let me be the one to welcome you. I suppose the other girl, she called this place Daydreamer's Den. I don't know what that means. The name I'm familiar with. Neither am I. I as far as I'm aware, this place, at least to me, it's home. Would you say it, it's felt like it's been here forever? It feels as though it just got here and it's always been here, but... And this is still- you can tell each one of these silhouettes has a different, like, mannerism to them. They'd be, like, the reason I didn't bother drawing them is because they would all look the same, but they all- you can tell that they're distinctly unique. This one, like, it, it seems to stop sewing and puts its stuff down. It's a pleasure to meet you. Holds out- it holds out their hand. Likewise, uh, Somber will reciprocate. Hmm. Your clothes are a little tattered, but I like the style. Hmm. So a bit worse for wear. Hmm. Well, if you should ever need clothes, uh, I don't know if... I don't know if this would be your style. It appears she's holding something up to you, but you can't see it. Uh... He will still hold his uh, hand out for the uh, the gesture. Uh, much appreciated. Hmm. I'll tell him. I can tailor make it to fit you. It's. Hmm. I think it should be all right. I've been thinking of going into a full time business with this. I wish you much success. Hmm. It stands up and it like pinches you on the cheek. You're a good boy. If only my son were half as nice as you. And then pats you on your head as you start to walk away. Is this what it would have been like to have had a mother? Let's see who... And for Warren... Damn, you all rolled the percentage of meeting something. Hmm. I had, a, I had a, a system in place for this and I was like, I probably only have to do one or two. But, all right, let's see, who does Warren get? Okay, okay, I know what to do. Warren, you begin making your way through. You see another one of these silhouettes as you start um, making your way past. They appear to be, uh, you could infer that they're pantomiming, like chopping something down. 
or like trying to like uh, remove something from the area. <sighs> Do you walk over to them? Yeah, after just watching for a short while, I walk over during like when they take a break between. Oh, hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, may I ask what you are doing? Oh, you know, just trying to gather supplies. It's uh, part of what I do for my family. Huh, interesting. Place is really different, but still reminds me of the farm back home. Hmm. I've never seen a place like this before. Huh. You get used to it. You see it, like, looking you up and down. Huh. You look a lot like Miss Kuso. Uh, who? Really, really bright, really... I don't know what the right word is. I don't actually. You see it look down at its own, like, hand. Seems strange. I... She looks a lot like you, but I th always thought she looked like me, but... Huh. And as that realization begins to happen, it's almost as, as if this being starts to, like, begin fading away from, like, the leg up. Uh, 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 excuse me, but, uh, huh? your Who knows? legs? I'm sure it'll be fine. Are you a friend of hers? They're fading, so you only get a couple chances to ask. You you have to ask something quick if you want to know something. Uh, do uh, <laughs> no, but do you know where this person might be? Oh, she comes down here now and again for food, but and as they like begin to fade, if you take the stairway up, you should find where she usually goes. Uh, thank and you. As the as the head of this being begins to disappear you see it take another like form of light and almost as if in a brief second like of just being able to actually see this for what it is uh i won't tell you who it is jack but you should know who it is you see what appears to be a fair-skinned young man with long hair oddly enough though you do see a tail on their back or on on like their lower back as they just smile at you and then almost as if in a puff of light, they just burst through the, like, they just shoot off towards the sky, cut through the clouds and disappear. Huh. Guys? Did you find something? I think I just made somebody ascend. I'm not joking. You see a lot of the other, like, silhouettes looking up, like... Huh. I wonder where he's went. Hmm. They just, like, they look up for a bit, then they all just begin to go back to their day-to-days. You see them doing a whole bunch of different manner of things. They're... Some look like they're just sitting around. Some look like they're talking with each other. Some look very happy together. Some look like they're a bit sad or alone. But it seems like every single one of them, no matter how similar they look, they all have some, like, you couldn't mistake them for somebody else. For some reason, you can differentiate them, even though they're the same. So, Somber was quote-unquote given a garment? Does you, you weren't actually given anything. I had a feeling... Still, he's trying. He's still looking down at his hands, though, like moving his fingers like up and down, just like I have some over. Hmm. Would you guys like to look around these areas more, or where would you like to go? Well, we could look around, but I do have some information from the person who I just. Uh, person that was over there. What do you got? Uh, 
a name, Miss Crusoe. They usually come down for food, and if we take that staircase, we might be able to find her. Sounds like what we should do. Longer we stay up. You're you're cutting out a little bit, then. I don't know if you're peeking, or your the mic might not be picking it up. Okay. Too high. The longer we stay around here, who knows what might happen. I mean, Every... we could ascend like that person. I don't know. Ascend to what and from where? Hmm. Maybe we should move on. The stairs, you said. That's what I was told. You won't make your way over towards the stairs? So, why are those this, like... They're just stones. Just yeah, stones. it's just a pathway. Yeah. Just, just asking. Oh. No, no, that's important. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just figured what the way the map was. It's just a pathway. Yeah, it was hard for me to, like, figure out a way to put buildings on this, but this was aesthetically what I wanted to go for, so... I'm just more fully... Imagine that there would be buildings and different, like, things around this. It does look... It looks like an interconnected city just, like, floating up and, like, with bridges. Like, it's, um... For a lot of the things that you do see... Uh... For as much... Like, if you were to look below... Like, you just see cloud and you don't see anything there. It's almost, like... I don't... Like, it feels like it's just, like, almost floating in, like, its own little, like, pocket space. It's a very surreal experience to look around. <laughs> so what's up with this thing here? Would you like to do an investigation check? Oh, look, yeah. magic circle. Because <laughs> there is something there. Mysterious uh, magic circle. I will okay. lick it. Investigation? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm. That's a good okay. investigation. Okay. You. It appears like... This was made with some sort of purpose, but it's long since been abandoned. It, you see actually a lot of it like around it. There's a lot of like shrubbery and like nature sort of overtaking the area. With that 18, I will say as you start going, like just looking around and examining in a deeper part of grass that you feel around it, like almost like if it was if it had grown over it, you do find something. It is broken. It's cracked, but it is undeniable. You found you have found the hilt of what should be a keyblade. Oh. So I found something. Oh no. Shows the hilt. <laughs> oh, I just had a thought. Mm. Did any of these people have a true concept of time? Probably not. Because if that's the case, then. That other Keyblade wielder, that other person had seen, although they may have said they'd only seen them a short while ago. Who knows how really long was it? Yes. What if this is, uh, what if this was theirs? Who knows? So this, this hilt is gone, gone. Yeah, it's gone. Like, there's, there, it's not even like, if you, you could keep it on you, but I'll tell you this right now, it, it'll probably never come into a purpose of something you could use. But you could keep it. Uh, for now, I'm gonna keep it. Alright. Do you guys like want to get dog tag? Yeah. Do you guys want to ascend the stairs, or is there anything, do you want to do one more perception check around here? Mm -hmm. I think we should have one more perception yeah. check around. I All was right. curious about the, the crystals, though. Uh, okay, so you could either do perception checks to look around, or you could do investigation or arcana checks on the crystals. I'll mm. just have a look around. So, okay. Yeah, I'll I'll look more to like like over <laughs> like get a glance over here. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, an eleven. Ooh, twenty-four. All right, let's see. We'll do with both. 
Ooh. Folks, as you start walking around, like moving past, are you looking at the crystal specifically? Yeah. 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 Okay. I just wanted to make sure I knew what you were doing. As you walk up and you put your hand on the crystal to like get a look at it, you almost feel as if like something like ignites, like just not like painful. You look at the crystal, like as it begins to glow while your hands on it. It's scrambled and it's messy, but you do see visions of not Daybreak Town, but your world where you came from. Oh, you see small little hazy images of your old like friends and family from that world. Before it is just before it completely gets eclipsed by black. What is this? Memories? Do they look like they were my memories? They looked like they were yours. And from the way you were looking at it, it was almost as if you were looking at it from like a first person perspective. So that this was you like seeing what you had already seen before. Somber. That's a bit lower. Okay, let's see. Somber. As you walk through, you find what appears to be... You see... You see two silhouettes. One very small, about the size of a child, and the other one about the size of an adult. The child seems to be, like, on their knees and crying. And they're both standing in front of just... They're just standing in front of a rock. As the uh, the older one puts their hand on the child's back. Uh, he's just gonna momentarily pause and just uh, just over just see the what's going the situation. You just over you see the child crying, just slowly sobbing as the older like a figure just looks and goes, "Relax now." They'd want you to be strong. I know it hurts when people are gone, but you gotta be tough and hang in there. I'm As... sorry to disturb you. Uh, oh. Is someone laid to rest here? Hmm. Yeah. We're... <sighs> the way of the world, you know. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Agreed. It is unfortunate, but it is the way of the world. The best we can do is offer our prayers. The little figure looks up at you. We're not supposed to try to make it right. I never said that. Sometimes it is right. Sometimes it is just. But overall, it's also good to live the life that they would want you to live. Begins to like rub their eyes. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks, mister. Um, Sombra would just, uh, will just raise a, would just, like, hold out a hand for just, uh, a, like, a shake, like, though I'm afraid I'm someone who cannot condone a retaliation of any sorts. I hope you find your own happiness. You seem like a good guy. Never considered the fact. The older figure looks down towards them. <laughs> Try to be just as good as him. That's what they would have wanted. Just like smiling, ha like happily. You can't see them smiling, but you can feel it. He like takes the smaller figure's hand. 
Thank you for stopping by to say hi. Must have been fate we should talk to you today. Fate has a funny way. Well. I wish you, you well. Have... Same to you. Stop by where we are over there anytime you need. I'll whip you up a chicken fried wonton. As he just takes the figure and walks off. Takes the smaller figure with him. Ah, uh, that kid's gonna grow up to be a psychopath. He's gonna grow up to be just fine. <laughs> Warren, yours is a good one. Oh boy. Yeah, yours is a very good one. Time to ascend another person. I'm doing God's work. Stop doing God's work. <laughs> I am Jesus. <laughs> You're making your way around. Are you looking for like the silhouettes or actually at stuff around? Uh, mostly just everything around. You see, you see a few more silhouettes just kind of going around. You see them all like just in their own like you know business doing doing what it is that they're doing. There is one that catches your eye. It keeps looking over at you. I just give it like the creepiest smile. It's it's like someone who doesn't really understand how to do it doing one and then just wave slightly. It walks up to you and it tries to say something but then you immediately see it just like turn around like no that's not how you do uh... roll a roll um Roll an insight check. 18. 18. Okay. It's not bad at all. It just... It it looks very nervous. Like, it doesn't know what to say, but it's trying to be polite. Hello. That's what you start with. Hello. Hello. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, hi. Hi. So you, you just looked a little lost. I didn't know if there was something I could do to help. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just looking around this place. It's a real nice place. Um, well, oh, I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? Oh, no, I, I'm... I, I don't have a lot of people experience. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. I'm still new to it myself. Well, it just looks up at you and smiles. Again, the feeling of a smile. <laughs> this, I guess, no better place to start. And just holds out their hand to shake. I will shake. They are significantly shorter than you. Hello, my name's Warren. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, I don't know what my name is. I think I have one. I'm sure I did. Well, maybe it'll come to you in time. Hmm. Well, if I can help you out with anything, just let me know. Um, Sorry. I do have one question. Uh, sure. Have you seen anyone around here? Well, besides the people I came here with. Using one of these, and I'll produce Keyblade. Oh, I remember a lady broke one of those a couple years back. Yes, we found the uh, remains of it over there. Yeah, she looked sad when it was broken. But she seems to do better. Do you know where she is? Is she up those stairs? I think so. We can't really check. We've tried to go up the stairs, but we we really can't leave this place. Oh, that... Hmm. All right. I guess we will try as well. Seeing as we don't really know how we got here, and that is our best lead for now. 
Well, I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, it's always nice to talk to someone anyway. I don't talk to too many people here. But oh, that's that's, a, that's upsetting. I'm I'm a little bit more preoccupied. I'm looking for some well, two someones. Oh, who might that be? You see, it just the star. I don't know. I feel I just I feel like there are two things I'm looking for. I don't know where they are though. But I know I'll find them. I just have to keep looking. That's the spirit. It gives the same like awkward smile. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna keep looking on, but I should still be around if you need anything. I'm happy to help. I will come and find you again if I require some. They give you a little bit of a wave as they start, like, taking off. And you see them going across one of the bridges. And they just start moving forward. Well, that was pleasant. Somber's gonna meet back in the uh, in the middle with everybody. Afraid I didn't learn too much more about where we are. I did. Really? No, uh, well, I have some other things that I noticed, but go ahead. Yes, it's more to that story, I guess. Uh, that person who we are currently looking for broke mm. this keyblade broke it the one and up the stairs yes they are <laughs> still up there for, for all, all we know no. the young one i talked to said they haven't seen them in a while and none of them can go up said staircase Well, that might give us light on that person. But I think I have an idea of what this place is. Um, I actually touched one of those crystals. And uh, it showed me some of my memories. Mm. Long ago memories. I wouldn't be surprised if this place is the memory itself or at least the figures are just a collection of memories of what this place was. This place is simply a memory. Then I hope I'm wrong about the possibility of one being able to still pass on within this place. I guess these people don't want to be just some memories if they're still here. Two people I met were mourning loved ones. The one I was just speaking to was looking for two people they had lost. That just helps the theory. I guess... Well, I guess we should just go up there and see what these keyblade wielders can say to us about this place because that's 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 our only lead right now i agree hopefully they're still alive <sighs> fingers he says with a smile <laughs> moving up all right you guys advance yeah mm -hmm. all right Let's advance the plot. Oh, Lord. <coughs> okay, we still. Oh, baby. So you would be. <coughs> Sorry, still sick. It's me. Have you thought of not being sick? I tried. I really did. Yeah, it's easy. Just don't do it. As you guys advance your way up the stairs, 
it almost feels like you're walking through like like just endlessness but after a certain point you begin to get enveloped by light it's it's gentle it's warm and it feels as almost like it's just been expecting you and as you guys are engulfed you find yourselves right here giga mode stop being gigas <laughs> Now this is a change of scenery. If you were to look over the edges of this, you would actually see like the uh, the parts of Daydreamer Den that you saw before, like below. But for as short of a distance as it felt like you walked, it looked like you'd have to fall for almost a good hour before you'd reach it back down there again. Oof. And standing in front of you. Well, not standing. You just see sort of like sitting down on like a sitting next to a pillar near like this water. You see a woman with silver hair. I will show her to everybody. You went all out. Hmm. Hello. She's, she seems to just be sitting there and she's like, like just sort of like tinkering with something. Or it's more just like she's fiddling with an object. She's not really making anything. You see her look up. Oh. Somber. Boss. Foreign. I wondered when you'd find this place. Uh, wait, what? Afraid you have us at a disadvantage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... It's a little easier if you see rather than I explain what this place is. She sort of stands up and she begins to walk over to you guys. Mm. She like looks like inquisitively at all of you. What a grimacy faces. Are you all all right? Well, um, given the circumstances, we are actually at a loss. We, to be honest, I don't even know if I'm alive. You're alive. Well, that's one thing to solve. In a sense. Oh, God, we got, we are back in square one. Okay, sure. The sort right of now, between world. She sort of, she gestures towards you. Mm-hmm. So we have not passed on, but we are not mm, life, life. It's, it is hard to explain. And I'm sorry if it's confusing. It's, uh, I mean, we just got, we would just, we're fighting in the war. So uh, do you feel alive? Feel normal. Uh, recap very quickly. Basically, this is a. This is a world where powerful hearts like leave imprints and they sort of project onto here is the summary of what I just explained. Mm. Like some sort of dream, yet during the day. <gasps> she looks towards you. That's exactly why I called it this place. Or I guess. Just, like walks over to you all so the obvious question I can assume you all ask is how did you end up here simply awoke but when did you go to sleep Oh, I assumed the worst. Die. You three. I have called out to many before. But there are hearts out there that, while they are strong, they're isolated. And you see her sort of just like 
take a like she smiles, but it's like a very sad smile across her face. You all were the ones who well, you listened. Thank you for hearing me out. These worlds, they're tied together by unconventional means, but they are very tight. They are very closely knit. But this place isn't supposed to be here. Wait, Cable. It is her voice the voice we heard in the darkness? Uh, no. The voice... The voice you heard in the darkness, it, it's strange. It was almost like the words appeared in your head, but you didn't actually hear a voice. Oh, okay. Those were text boxes, basically. <laughs> Surprised we weren't walking over stained glass. I couldn't figure out how to make it look right. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Were you the one that called us while we were in the darkness? Well, no, this world probably called you. You do know all worlds have hearts. Mm. And unfortunately, while some worlds can stay strong and anchored to the light, just like humans, even some worlds have points where they're weak and they succumb. Even if it's not completely. Force tens tenses up. What this place is... Fragments of worlds who, at one point, were close to or did fall. Even if only for a moment. They stay anchored to support each other, and in doing that, they found a way to stabilize themselves. But this stability won't last forever. I have to ask you all, if you will please, send these worlds back to the world of light. Oh, I can't say no to a request like that. I cannot let the darkness win. <sighs> Warren just sighs and walks off slightly. Make a perception check. Oh boy. Plenty. 20 perception, you see three lovely chests sitting next to each other. They each, <laughs> be, they each seem to be a different color. One's a bit more like a stable green. One's a bit more of like a silver. Then there's one that's just a garish throw up of colors. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> hear me say that for a moment. It's like, mine. Hey. When... At when uh, Fos was saying that, uh, like, we uh, can't let the world succumb to darkness, uh, Somber had been uh, had been writing notes again, like, and agreed. Yes. They can just research. I'm sorry, do that one more time, Dad. Yeah. He's, uh, Somber was taking notes uh, while Fos was talking. Okay, I think when you're doing Somber's voice, your mic's not fully picking it up. That's why you're cutting in and out. So Probably. see if you can be a little louder with that. Probably it could be, yeah. Uh... Hmm. Yes, this could make interesting research. I will assist. And what about you, Warren? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, what? She just, like, she laughs a little bit. You can take what's in the box. I left those there for you all. Oh, thank you. 
There's one for you guys, too. See, they have been color-coded. You see her just, like, smiling. I get bored here. I mean, I can I cannot imagine how nothing that feels. Okay, let me just mark off which ones you guys have found. First three are always the easiest. <laughs> All uh, right. First three of many, huh? Yep. We'll get to that later. All right. Uh, Somber, you get a potion. Good. Boss, you get an ether. And Warren, you get a focus recovery. Ooh. Got the one thing I needed. <laughs> well, it seems you all aren't panicking about where you are. Why panic? Panic will not help the situation. Hmm. I'm glad it was you all who answered the call. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that l lesser hearts will panic. <laughs> and that's not what you were looking for. Hmm. Well, hearts as strong as yours. And... Wow, in some areas, this would be something sprung on you. You see her, like, gesture, and you see a portal open up. It's like a... You can tell it's like an inky black... It's like the same inky blackness you fell through before. Like, it's a small portal. I would have to make sure that you all are able to do this. But only when you feel you're ready, please cross through here. Um... I am not fond of darkness. Just letting that known. Already going. Okay, so I'll put a little squiggle there. Sombra's looking over at that portal, but before he steps forward to that, he's stepping towards the fountain. You see it, it's it's very like it's crystal clear water. And it like the way the light reflects off, it gives like a that you know that very visually pleasing like glint you can get off of really clear water. Yeah. Yeah, you get that. He's stirring his keyblade within the water and then very quickly flicks his keyblade up so that water comes uh comes splashing down. <sighs> okay. Don't worry. Once I, if you all complete what you're supposed to in there, you sh you'll be fine. Remember, may your hearts be your guiding key. Why do I feel this is on all, like on one of the tests on school? Okay, here we go again. Let's move you back to the void. As you guys are moved through and almost like stepping, you see the light behind you fade with her like on the other side. As it closes completely. Who? All right. I will either investigation or arcana checks. Actually, perception or arcana checks. Twenty-six. Okay. Nice. Okay, Warren, I'm sorry. Warren, you don't see anything. But as everything else begins to like uh, start to stir, you notice that even though you're not moving, you still see ripples coming across the floor. And we're going to use this. As rising up from the bottom... All right. Also, ignore this one up at the top corner. That's my token tracker. <laughs> the dark heart 
back to Smarmu. Smarmu. <laughs> no. Mm. As it oh. closes, you see six of what you all would know to be heartless standing before you. Roll me initiative. Oh boy. 21, jeez. Okay, we, we, we are swimming, boys. Not one. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Freaking ready to go. All right. Uh, all right, you can start. You can start us off, Luis. Okay. Um, uh, not saving. Okay. Let me see. Oh yeah, more than. Straight up. Boom. All right. You immediately rush towards one of them. Time to expel the darkness. 17. That'll hit. 12 damage. 12 damage as you cut directly into it. You see the as it like block. it winces back a bit as it gets like hit. But it's still doing that like swerving motion thing where it looks like it's still ready to fight. The time for to hit number two, I guess. Go ahead. Fifteen. That'll hit. Eleven points of damage. All right. So with a second swing of your key, you go in. Uh, give me one second. Uh, where is the thing I'm looking for? Here it is. Okay. Sorry, I just needed something open. You go in to hit. And with the second key, as it like steps back to dodge out of the way, you swing straight through and it just like evaporates as you see a small trap tart disappear as it leaves. Immediately. Roll me a D100, Luis. Oh, the, okay. Before? Okay. Uh, all right. Luis, you get a high potion. The, okay. Um, uh, Yay. All right, would that be your turn? No. I still have movement movement left. So I'm going to use the rest to... Let me, wait, let me make sure again. So I, don't, <coughs> so I move... Oh, God. What's the move? Roller? Move here. So I'm going to move here. I still have 10, but doesn't matter. Boop. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Somber. Unnatural creatures. Even you are subject to the elements. Uh, and Somber's gonna point his keyblade towards this uh, group of Heartless over here. Okay. And I'm gonna get them both with Thunder. Alright. 13 to both. All right, yeah, because that definitely hits. And let's see, and yes, going to move below this uh, heartless here. Sad that wasn't sufficient. Six slashing. Six. All right, it's still up, but it's 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 fucking hanging in there. Wait, can you? Okay, can you do like a like how are aren't like it wasn't thunder like, and I don't want just to break things. Hmm? Thunder wasn't an action to do with the whole thing. Uh, Dan should have multi attack, right, Dan? Oh, right. Dan, Dan is, yeah, yeah Dan is the mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Dan, Dan has weird magic y stuff. It's just I can't do two spells in a row. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, that works. Damn, that's strong. <laughs> okay. Not yet, anyway. It's. Vorin. 
Papa. Papa. I smack at you. Smack him. That hits. Papa. All right. Same like with the other one. It's it's struggling. It's in a lot of. It looks like it's hurt pretty bad, but it's still up. And <laughs> okay. Roll that. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. It's it's dead. You basically you cut straight through it with your second hit. Roll me a d one hundred. Twenty-seven. Uh, you get an ether. Okay, now it is the Heartless's turn. The darkness, my exy. This one's gonna advance up to Warren. Uh, uh. All right, it's going to go for a scratch attack. Oh. Does a 17 hit? That hits. All right, you take five slashing damage. Oh, ow, my pride. Okay, yeah, this one can, this one can get over here. This one's also going to go after you, and it's going to go for a scratch attack with advantage. How about no? 16 hit? Yeah. You take another 5 slashing damage. Damn it. Alright, the one dealing with Somber will attack next. 18. Oh, yeah. 6 <laughs> slashing damage. <sighs> and finally, the one attacking Fos. 13. Nope. All right, so that one misses as it goes to strike at you. You dodge out of the way. And that'll be the shadow's turns. Fos, your turn. Smacky, smacky. Go for the smack. Show them the force of your 17. smack. That hits. 12. Yep. You get a good chunk of damage off hitting it. As it goes to hit you before you'd parry back. All right. Again. Six. Uh Okay. Still up, but not by much. Uh, as you get two good hits into it. I'm actually gonna take an attack of opportunity. Boop, boop. Okay. 14? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so it misses. Damn, you're good. You flip roll out of the way, you combat action roll out the way. As you land behind the other shadow and lead into Somber's turn. See the up game, son. <laughs> it's a good thing I've learned, Master. Let winter take hold of them. Uh, and he's really charging up this keyblade, pointing it forward, arcing so, uh, arcing enough away from Warren. <laughs> Caught up in this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the cone. Blizzara. Oh, uh, I that moment I hear <laughs> like uh oh. Twenty two. Yeah. Twenty one oh. full damage each. Yeah, you just you kill them both instantly. So Dan, roll me two D one hundreds. Like, Roll them individually so I can make sure I see what you get. Nine and eighty-eight. All right, let's see. So twenty-nine. Yep. Got an ether and eighty-eight. Yep. Oh, you got an elixir. Oh. Yeah. All right. And. You just see, uh, like, Somber just coughing a bit after doing that spell. <laughs> Will that be the end of your turn? Uh, he's going to just move up a bit, and he's going to use, uh, like, as a... 
Uh, where is it? Yeah, he's going to use a uh, command point for dodge roll. Got it. All right, so you have dodge roll set. Warren. Smacky, smacky. Go. Yes. Oh, shit. Nat 20. Roll that. What is that? 15? Yep. <coughs> 15. All right. So you destroy this one as well. Uh, for that nat 20 for finishing it off, I am gonna. Ha I want you to roll D D100 with advantage. Uh, 82, then. 82. Y you score an elixir. Yay. All right, and now there's just one sad boy left on the map. And can he reach any of you all? I think he should. Uh, just you. <laughs> and he's going to go to scratch you. Oh. 23? I have dodge roll in. So do you avoid the attack or do you have, does he get disadvantage on it? He gets disadvantage. Oh, so the 11 doesn't hit you, does it? Nope. All right. Well, that's its move. Uh, Yeah, that's its move. Foss. Oh, he's about to be torn apart. Hello, friend. <clears throat> 19. Roll the damn. The 11. Yeah. Roll D100. You delete it. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just delete. Oh, God. No. What did I do? Click something. I should have. Twenty-six, just a potion. Right. What do you mean, just? They have a just a potion. As things begin to settle, as you've as you wipe out the rest of them, it feels like as though that shouldn't have been what a challenge was, but you got some pretty good stuff out of it. Was actually going to go. I didn't say like that. This wasn't even a challenge. Oh, thank and... you, please. I was hoping you would say it. And you doomed us all. Why do I hear heavy violins? <laughs> as you say, this was not a challenge. Almost as if the void itself moves. You see rising out from the bottom. Oh, for fuck's sake. A massive ethereal heart, a massive figure. It looks down at you all. Of course it would be this guy. Can I just punch? <laughs> Can you just what? Fox oh, in the shoulder. I just punch Fox in the shoulder. Thanks. You never say I, You never say that, Louis. Oh wow, we got a one on its initiative. <laughs> All right, well we're at top of the initiative order, so how do you want to? Do you guys want to? Let's get this going. See what happens. Uh, I shrug like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that that shrug and then the 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 ah uh, the Lord of the Rings like for for Frodo thing. Frodo, I move that way. Just up here and um, I. Think. I'm checking my spells because those, those are the ones with range. Um. Also, track by Lorian Ross. Hey. Uh, go check out his. Uh, check him out on Twitter. Uh, is he still Lorian Ross or is it Sky Blue Shink still? Uh, Lorian Ross. Yep, no, that and... wasn't. Why I can't see the damage? Ah, uh, okay. You hit the spell and hopefully you can. Um. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead. This should have. Okay, one thing I'm seeing that they should modify 
on on roll twenty is the to see where what the damage is because in the in the spells it doesn't say and then you go to the the attack and it only says the damage but not the range it's freaking confusing this yeah. is why i put everything in my attack sheet no it's in my attack yeah. way it doesn't show the range <laughs> ah well we'll circle back to it a little later anyways just gravity okay yeah. god oh yeah you hit it 18 fours. All right, it's going to take 18 force damage. As you see it, like, it began to raise its arm, but you sort of force its arm back down a little bit. But it looks undeterred by that. Like, that attack really didn't do much to it. Uh, I'm just going to take my free action to just shout, let me take the brunt of it, and you guys just circle around him. Hmm. Let's go to Somber. Let's see. Far, far away. I'm... Oh, perfect. So I can get... <coughs> there. Yes. Yeah. Well... Distance is key. Uh, first off, uh, bonus action. Gonna take one of those ethers. Yep, I figured you were running out of magic. <laughs> <coughs> well, Star took a lot out of me. I figured, but it's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to keep up that way. Well then, uh, raises uh his keyblade, uh, pointing it at this giant heartless. <laughs> Burn. Fire. Oh, yeah, you hit 19. 19 fire damage. Jesus. So the attack shoot, you fire off the attack and it immediately like hits this creature again. It looks like you interrupted what it was going to do, but it doesn't seem like it's stopping just yet. Also, I can remove this. Oh, we have like. Wait, where did you get that that thing for fire? Oh, that's fire on the fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's a special thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> a lot that of... Is that Somber's turn? Yeah, that's all I, that's all I can. OK, just let me know when you guys' turns are over, OK? Well, I was waiting for everyone to finish. OK. Oh, Warren. Oh, boy, I'm going to do a thing. I thought this. I thought I'd be able to get away with this a little bit longer, but I'm a user. I'm going to use some funny little command points. Ooh! And I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use dark haze. Okay. I'll just put that there. To instantly teleport. Tele Okay, so it has to make a it has to make a charisma saving throw, right? No, this is the main moving one. Oh, uh, dark haze. No, dark haze is the one. Yeah, that that up to three people. Three, can I put Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> See, darkness embraces the one right underneath it. God damn it, Jack! You're an idiot. <laughs> Ignore me. No wonder you were quick to run into that portal. <clears throat> I can get to there. You saw that portal and went, oh shit, you too. <laughs> Basically. Alright. Fos, you actually see as, like, you see Warren appear, but you see him appearing almost uh, like out of the darkness itself. You can just keep note of that. Using actual movement to run around him. <laughs> and now I smack his boot. Stay away from his boot. I'm smack that boot. It's okay. Wiggly. Oh yeah, no, you're you go to take a swing. It's just like you get that you know the parry sound like when an enemy blocks yeah. you? Yeah, you just get that sound as you go into hit. 
Oh no, it has rock hard boot. <coughs> no, you don't. That one will hit. All right, you hit him for another seven uh, slashing damage. As you go in and you deal, like, you get a good cut on him. It looks unfazed, but it does turn its head over towards you since you are the closest thing to it. Ah, uh, I'm in danger now. Yeah. Yeah, you're all within range of this too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need everybody to make a DC 14 wisdom save. Oh, Lord. I'm so happy I'm proficient. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay, so just Faust fails. Uh, you are frightened of this creature. Not oh, great. Yeah, you can repeat the save at the uh, at the start of your turn, but seeing this being of darkness like approaching, moving towards you with the memories you saw from the crystal, it's starting to send back like bad memories to you, and like it's causing you to like hesitate with what you want to do. Then, let's see. Oh, this will be fun. Let's do this to let's do this to Warren since he's close. Oh fuck. Lauren, it's gonna turn to you and it's gonna make one of its slam attacks. No. Does a 14 oh, hit you? Just hit. God. Oh shit. Damn okay. It. So its arm comes barreling down as it slams <laughs> into you. Okay, it could have been worse. Uh no, you're also grappled because it's got you. Uh well actually you have to I need you to make a DC 16 uh, acrobatics check to get out of its grapple. Acrobatic. I'm good at those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see as it lifts Warren up, and then because it's got you grappled, it's gonna go ahead and slam you back down into the ground again. And oh. it's, gonna auto, it's gonna auto hit because it's already got you. Oh, I'm in danger. So that doesn't matter. You're going to take an additional 12 bludgeoning damage and slams you directly into the void. And it, it hurts quite a bit. It at least makes you feel like you're still alive because that's actual pain. Is he still considered grapple or did he just get slammed? No, once you're slammed, you're out of the grapple. Okay. <laughs> and then, lastly, it's going to use... Lastly? Yeah, it's, gotta, it's still going to use its bonus action. Oh! <laughs> It's going to use its bonus action. You see, like, as it slammed Warren into the ground, you see, like, a murky purple void appear underneath it. Oh, fuck, it's doing this one. And from the void... Yeah. Yeah. The hell did it Oh, I was going to say, you got Giga Shadows? <laughs> I do have Giga Shadows in here, actually. But they're not, not here yet. You <laughs> We deal with no Giga Shadows. <laughs> it's gonna spawn. It's gonna spawn three Heartless. They won't take a turn this round, but they will start moving next round. Fos, uh, make that check to break out of being afraid. Come on. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Just gotta be to fourteen. Yeah. No. Oh, let's see. <sighs> It has to make up for the. Oh, wait oh, a dang. minute. I want to see something. No! Oh, that's high. That's high end, too. Oh, God. All right. Warren's busy. He's taking care of something. Uh, Somber, you would see this. Fos, I need you to keep track of something on your sheet, all right? Uh huh. You see, as, this, as you start to feel afraid, like moving forward, I'm going to give you an option right now. Do you want to break the fear? Yes. All right. So you you suddenly don't feel afraid of this creature. You're not sure why, but you stand defiant against it. But from what Somber can see, there is a weird purple aura coming off of you. Just slightly, not a lot. You can make your next attack with advantage. But I think you know why you have advantage on it. Mm -hmm. My turn then? Yeah, my yeah. turn. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, if I put myself there, that would flank, right? Yes, that'd be flanking. That technically wasting that. No. Wasting my first advantage doesn't matter, really. Whatever. Yeah. 
You're not gonna take someone away! 25. Yeah, you hit. 13. You get a real, like, as it's starting to move forward, like, raising its hand, you get a good slash across it. You actually see, it doesn't bleed. You know Heartless don't bleed, but you do see, like, part of the, uh, like, the shadowy form get sort of actually ripped open. Uh, here we go. That hits. Number okay. 10. Yeah, no, you're putting in good work against it. You get two solid hits against it. It looks un it looks undeterred by that, but it is it does look like it has visibly taken notice of the fact that you guys have heard it. Yeah, but uh, let's bring it, you stupid thing. Somber. This somber seeing what's going on with Vos. The steadfast heart friend. Do not let the darkness claim you. <sighs> See, Joyce. Assist them, mother. Uh, he's gonna use up a lot of MP. <laughs> use your MIP. He can do it from where he is to get both these heartless up here to the right of the of dark side <laughs> and dark side itself. Okay. So we I can get all down three down. of them in this. That's what it's actually called, Luis. Really? Yeah, it's called oh. Dark Side. Thinking of another Dark Side, but okay, sure. I know. I'm not gonna hit you with uh, with Omega Beams. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna get all three of them with this one. All right. Do oh, it. This is gonna take a lot of MP. Waterer. Release the you splish splash. Me too. You hit all of them. <coughs> Nine bludgeoning, six cold, and they, uh, it's the difficult terrain. Am I out of that? Yes, I made it's 60 feet from where I'm standing to make a 40 foot radius. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you hit the two of them. They're in difficult terrain and you deal 15 damage to this one. It's a solid hit. You managed to like immobilize the other two heartless. It looks like they're having a hard time moving. The dark side looks like it had no intention to start walking. So it was mostly to, uh, to make it difficult for the two heartless. Yeah. So you, you have accomplished your goal in that. Will that be your turn? Uh, bonus section. Ether. Ether. Go ahead. <laughs> Warren, you just got slammed directly into the ground by this thing. Uh, well, that wasn't very nice. Uh, time to use some more command points. I'ma do a hunt for hearts on the dark side. <gasps> okay. Go for it. So, first I'm gonna do my bap. Yes. That's a bap. That's a good bap. So, add an additional 3d6 on top of that. Nine. Shit. Alright. And second bap. 17? It just hits. Oh. Grace, it's a patak. Okay. I think you only had 3d6 for the first hit, right? I don't know. That's all there was to that. Is that how Hunter's Mark works, where it's just the first hit only? Or is it every hit? Oh, it works like Hunter's Mark? I don't know. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'll say just for the first hit. That's how I'm going to rule that, okay? Whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. Oh, then take it. Yeah, it, the way it's written, it's uh, it's, it's long as they're marked. Yeah, yep, just like Hunter's mark. Okay, so an additional then. seven. I'll add that in quickly now, then. Okay. Yeah, that's all of that done. All right. Let me see. 
Oh, Damn it, Dan, why couldn't you be like four inches closer? Because I'm the long range boy. Dinky. All right. And that's why I slowed those two up there down. Having just been hit by you, uh, Warren, this creature is going to like lean back and you see glowing in the center of like the hole in its chest that's shaped like a heart, an eerie red and purple light as that fires off directly almost into the nothingness of the void. It's going to use its uh, special ability, which is called Dark Rain. So I need everybody within a 30 foot radius of this thing to make a DC 14 deck save. You'll take half damage if you succeed and you'll take full damage if you fail. 26. Uh, deck to run. Ugh. Oh, Jack. All right. You'll take <laughs> half damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, shit. All right, this this got put in as a fucking, uh, so this is going to. All right, it's better to just let you see. So this dark ray attack, it's going to roll damage four times and whatever it is, you take that, Jack. So that's 20, <sighs> 33. So, Jack, you take 42 points of necrotic damage. Uh -huh. Louise, you take 21 points of necrotic damage. I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I can... You wanted this to do critical difficulty! Yes, I did. I was gonna double the dice damage on critical difficulty. Oh, I would be dead. Alright. And then from there... This can oh, still get to I forgot about shadows. They're funny. <laughs> no, they're, they're, not. they're funny. They're wiggly. Yeah, watch. Look at this wiggle. Wiggle. Where's his attack? Wiggle. <laughs> 17 hit you. Yes. Six slashing damage. Ah. Uh. They're going by what's closest. All right. Okay, uh, difficult terrain. Uh, what did I do for them the, the, for their movement, though? It would be it would be halved. So from where he was right here, because you moved oh, twenty. You're oh. lucky. You're lucky. Ah, he saved you right there. Uh, wait, are you within ten feet? Are you within ten feet of him? Okay. So yes, it can take a leaping attack. That's another thing it has. Oh come on! You can read it right they, there. I know they have that. Damn it. All right, so it's gonna take a leaping attack at you, Jack. And if it hits, it's gonna deal an additional uh, 1d4 damage. I don't know why it says three on there. I think it's because I was typing, I copied and pasted this over. Uh, does it tend at you? No. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. It's an 18, they have pack tactics. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make the shadows as realistic as they are in the game. Oh my god. So I tried, Jack. I tried. Three plus... So just another four slashing damage, Jack. And it'll end its turn, I uh, believe, right... We'll just stay right there. And then this one... I am in danger. Alright, this one's gonna go after Jack. Don't you fucking dead. Just be a turd. It, it's got half movement, but it's gonna make its way over to Foss. And it's gonna go for, uh... Does an eight hit you, Louise? No. Well, I didn't put it in flanking position. Wait. Oh, Shadow's allies. Nope. Uh, pack tactics, 21. God damn it. He takes six slashing damage. <clears throat> Things are bots. They are. And that'll end their turn. Foss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I can't. But if mm, oh God, so many options and probabilities and as your wisdom i told you i wasn't gonna make this one easy <sighs> oh 
all of this will just hit him. So, doing that magic attack is not a lot. But I'm hitting big guy. Okay. 22 is definitely going to hit. 11. 11. All right. And second attack. 16 just misses. Uh, let me check something. Wait, where was it? Where was it? I just read it. I just read it. Where is it? Take your it? time. Take your time, Louise. Don't rush. Oh, I can only say before I stay my results. What were you going to do? Uh, quick blitz. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Uh No, I'm done. That's all okay. I can do. Okay. Somber, you see you saw Warren take quite a bit of damage as well as you see uh Foss trying his best to fight back against this thing. Let's see here. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just going to. Let's see. How far away? This sucker. <clears throat> Why I had to move hit somebody. Right. Let's move up here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Keeping Warren out of range. Okay, good job. So, yeah, you know where the cone's going. Yep, 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 yep. Once again, like, it's a lot of, there's a lot of glowing coming out of that Keyblade. <sighs> Blizzara. Uh, I haven't pushed myself this far since training. Blizzara. 24. That'll hit both of them. 19 right. gold damage. Yeah, okay. You you fucking eradicate the little one. And then for 19 damage to the big one. You see as it was going to move its arm to like swipe towards Warren, you actually froze its arm in place for a little bit. And it looks as though it can't move that arm anymore. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Wish I could do more. Uh, going to use. Let's see. Let's see what I can command. <laughs> Wait, there is still something to do. Wait, just a bit more. Uh, command point for slide. Okay. No, I'm not done. Yet. To get right behind this heartless. All right. Okay. Time to use that additional action. Go ahead. Go down. You, yeah, you, de you defeat it. Also, you killed two heartless, so roll me, like, roll D100s for this. 21. 92. 92. Okay. Ah, oh, so close. So, for the 21, you got an ether. For the yes. 92, you got an elixir. You almost got a mega elixir. Right, an elixir is still very nice, and that ether is well needed. Warren, this thing looks like it's this thing looks like it's slowing down and it might be a good chance for you to take a strike at it. Taking potion first. Potion. At least that puts me up more health once more. And back to bathing. 
with the extra damage. Ah, uh, seventeen. You just hit. All right. Um, Roll your damage. Turn always in the way. Move out the way. Another eleven in the cart come there. All right, Jack. How do you want to finish it? <gasps> hey. I'm a I'm gonna do some fucking jumps up up it. I'm gonna jump on its <coughs> on its frozen arm and then go straight for the fucking forehead. All right. So as its arm is like st stuck in place, you immediately just like kick this little heartless away from you. Like I'll even say there's enough residual damage left over that you just like kill that one heartless right there. Yay. You take. You do that, you immediately start running up the side of its arm, and then just immediately, like, as it, like, looks its gaze up to you, you just, like, basically drive the Keyblade straight into its head. Ah. As, as you see a massive heart, like, appear from this and fade off into, the, into nothing. And then from that point, it starts to fall over, and it is gone. Roll me two D100s, Jack. Fifty nine and twenty six. Fifty nine and twenty six. Okay. Fifty nine gets you a high potion. Yay! Wait, fifty nine. No, that gets you a high ether. Twenty six gets you a potion. But that is not all, Jack. Mm hmm. You Sorry, killed the boss. I did pull a boss. All right, Jack, roll me a 1d10, please. Four. Four. Okay. Almost as if, like, as this thing falls, you see, like, a glowing sort of, like, basically, you know the item drop that happens after you beat a major boss. The weird orb, like, treasure chest. Yeah, the weird orb, like, treasure chest appears. You reach out, you grab it, and then as it materializes into an object, you now have uh, an item called Gaia Belt. <gasps> I got the Gaia Belt. You got Gaia Belt. I'll tell you what it does after the end of the stream. Oh. It was oh. going to go to whoever got the killing blow on it. As this creature fades, you feel as though... The void stops to move. You feel it stop to shake as the same doorway that you came through appears to open again. And you see Kuso there smiling and like just waving as she like beckons you guys to come back. Just, just limply fucking walking over. Uh, uh, uh. Sombers also appears to be having a coughing fit after using that much magic. Wrong song. Sorry, I had to do that. How am I everything? <clears throat> As you guys walk through and start making your way there, Foss, you feel that sort of rush of adrenaline that you had before begin to fade. And as it fades, you start to you start to feel a little upset with yourself. Like, you aren't sure if other people had noticed it, but you, uh, you let it take over again. You all make your way out of the portal. You're back into the nice uh, setscape where you see Kuso standing there. And she's just, she's smiling at you all. I hope I didn't- I hope that wasn't too bad. I didn't want to spring it on you. I wanted you to at least be prepared. Uh... No. That wasn't that bad. I mean, we're still standing. Sort of. Yeah, next time don't jump ahead. 
please. I thought you had it. I had it. And then you brought all the attention to yourself. <laughs> she chuckles a little looking at you two talking. Huh? An unlikely team if I've ever seen one, but I think you all will be able to do it. And as she says that, she gestures towards the three different platforms here. If you need to rest or if there's anything that you need, you can go to the uh, the town below, but the extended parts of this world through each of the uh, the runes on the ground here, if you were to use your key to open a portal as you did before, they should take you to the three fragments that keep this place like locked here. You can come and go as you need to from them, but... Be advised, as you go through there, it may seem different. The times, the places, and the people there are all... Think of it like... A, a memory on loop, so to speak. Mm. Just try to be careful. <laughs> Not really... And you see her looking down a little, like, a uh, little... A little solemnly, if you guys want to roll an insight check. Ten. Seventeen, huh? Sombra's a little preoccupied looking at the other two. She looks... like She's doing the thing where like you fiddle with your fingers like when you're nervous. Something They're dangerous. They're dangerous. Okay, cool. The worlds. Oh. You don't really know how people's hearts will react. And especially what happens if darkness starts to seep in there. I I unfortunately can't guarantee your safety. I mean, we are cube leaders. That's our job. You're as resilient as a said was. <laughs> so <Slowly turn. laughs> he does his awkward smile again, just not looking over. <clears throat> Anyways, I wish I could be of more help to you all, but I'll be here if you need me for anything. Sad. <sighs> Sadly, I can't go into those worlds. Are you stuck here? By choice. Well, I know I can't speak for the others, but I don't think I'll pry. For now, at least. Oh. Mostly because I'm too tired. You should all rest a little bit before you depart. And once again, just remember to be careful. And she's going to give you a smile. She's not leaving, really. She's still here. Yeah, it's where she going to go. Yeah, like she could go back down to like the town itself, but like just Actually, know, let me see where it is she wants to go. Uh, where's my dice? I want to go to bread. Oh. To bread. <laughs> Don't you mean bed? No. She's gonna just start walking over, like, this way, and just... She's just... Honestly, she's just, like, gonna go back to what she was doing, just fiddling with stuff and just, like, leaning against the railing. Ah, oh, she's back in NPC mode. <laughs> How long have we been going for? Uh, right now, in this, go one hour. Altogether, we've been going for about like two hours, right? Yeah. All right. So for the introductory part to all of this, I think this is a good like narrative place to stop.
Okay. It'll be a little bit of a shorter, but that's because I don't want to start into something and then we start. Ha- we yeah, just I've, go like halfway. Yeah, this is like just the introductory chapter. Everything's gonna fucking like start next time. So. Okay. Yeah. Then, then before everything goes off, uh, I don't know if you have one of these narratively in that town below, but if there's one of those green swirly save points that restores HP and MP, I'm stepping on right. it. There's there's a bed for you all to go take a nice long rest in. <laughs> Oh, no safe spot? That means there's no Google store. Yeah, there's no Google store and no safe spots. Also, no safe spots. This is no lock rules. You die once, you die. Uh, no! Yeah. But for now, everybody, this will be a good place for us to end it. We will be back tomorrow, actually. So tune in tomorrow at 4 EST, and we will continue with Sleepwalkers.